Hi, I'm Tom, you're watching Sony 365. Now, the last few videos have been filmed in my dingy hotel room while I'm here sort of working out what I'm gonna be doing with the channel. But this video is from my brand new luxury penthouse apartment in the heart of Soho, London. None of that's true, but this is true. Look who I found. How's it going, guys? I didn't realize until today that Troy is actually an ex Sony employee. Obviously, we all love his Sony stuff. If you haven't already subscri uh, subscribed to his channel, please go ahead and do that. Um, links in the video description below. And now we're both going to be treated to these amazing new products. I'll see you back in my uh, dingy hotel room. <laughs> Getting to know the HTA9 has been one of the most enjoyable experiences I've ever, ever had at Sony 365. You know, not everything Sony makes is perfect. They'll tell you that themselves. There's a consistent, you know, solid performance that you expect from Sony products, but every now and then there are products that are just absolutely exceptional. I'm talking about things like the Xperia 1 Mark III and my WF-1000XM4s. I absolutely love those products. They're as good as anything on the market. And I'm gonna tell you right now why I think the HTA9 is absolutely at the top of the screen the scale there in terms of just how great these are. Um, now look, first and foremost, let's look at what we're dealing with here, okay? So, four speakers, wireless of course, there's a hub here that's the sort of the brains behind the operation, and what we're basically getting here, the promise is 7.1.4 surround sound, but without any of the hassle, no wires, well, don't forget of course, you do need to plug these speakers in and give them power, um, but other than that, yeah, it's wireless. The technology is absolutely amazing. If you're a control freak, you're gonna hate this because you do just have to let the technology work it all out for you. The setup is absolutely, it's just the easiest thing. It's very enjoyable actually because the speakers work out where they all are. Make sure, by the way, although you can put these speakers anywhere, obviously make sure that you've got the, the two main front speakers either side of the television, otherwise that will mess things up. Um, but yeah, get them all um, plugged in, put them in the most sensible place you can, but remember this is to make life easy for you. There's no wires, you can put them where you need to, where you want to, and then there'll be zaps and pings. The speakers will work out the distance to the ceiling, the distance to the walls and so on. And then you'll get a, a little demo actually. And that's the first time you get your full wow moment. And you realize that what you're dealing with here is impressive. So the speed at which you're up and running is really remarkable. The initial impact there of the sound in that little demo is like, you know, okay, wow, we're, we're expecting something special. Now what Sony then did for us is they gave us a little tour of um, the sound, if you like, in a way that I wasn't expecting. Normally when you do these things, it's just explosions and aeroplanes and it's all a little bit obvious, but it works and you get the sort of, the general feeling of how good the technology is. This is one of the things I absolutely love about the way Eric Kingdon over at Sony, by the way, he's been there for it's, um, nearly 40 years at Sony and not only has he done an incredible job consistently with everything that he's been involved with, but he's actually got the new generation now trained up and fully, fully into this. It's been such an amazing project here and talking to everyone involved has just been so much fun. But um, yes, what Eric did, which I absolutely love, is he had, he had us watch a scene where someone is inside and there's almost just complete silence. And then that person walks outside, still in silence. But the, the level of detail retrieval and sophistication here is so high that you can actually sense and feel and hear the different types of silence. I mean, that's the level of detail we're talking about. Yes, all of the stuff you'd expect, you know, planes flying around, all the action scenes, we did that as well. And it is absolutely true to say that, you know, when explosions take place, you can almost, if you close your eyes, you can actually point and, you know, you can really sense where this is all happening. Now, let's do a quick reality check. Will this ever be as good as a true, actual 7.1.4? No, of course not. But it is startling how close it actually gets you to that, even though, of course, everything is basically running um, 
off trickery, essentially, firing off the ceiling and all the rest of it. It works incredibly well. So look, let's take a look at the speakers here and how they are doing this magic. So at the top of the speakers, each one of them here, we've got an upwards firing X balance speaker. It's actually what fires up to the ceiling that, and it does an amazing pinpoint accurate job of sort of tricking you where these sounds are really coming from. Um, there's microphones in here, um, this beveled edge structure. There's a huge amount of thought has gone into the design of this. And by the way, the overall design, it looks in real life a lot bigger than you'd be expecting because it's designed, I suppose, to just blend in into your surroundings. It doesn't make a massive visual statement. I really like that, but it means that when you see the pictures of these speakers online, they look tiny, they're not. They've got real presence then. They're big, uh, they're weighty, and they pack a punch. Um, of course, you've also got in here the main X-Balanced uh, speaker in the center, uh, and the really clever Sony amp tech as well, which is, is really, really awesome. Um, High-res tweeter here just at the top in the center. Yeah, very, very cool stuff. So when I had the demo with Sony, um, we weren't using the Bravia TV there as a center channel. You can do that. Um, in a way, I mean, I, I mean, obviously if you've got one of those Sony TVs, an XR one ideally, of course, I would say give it a try and see if you prefer it or not. Um, the fact that we didn't do that there with Sony and we were all blown away, uh, well Troy and I were, um, means to me that's optional. You may or may not want to do that. The bottom line though is that this is a beautiful setup when it comes to listening to music, the musicality here. I mean, if you want to play two channel music and give it the full enhancement, having all of that sound surround you beautifully. This works a treat and you can do that with just the press of a button. Obviously for TV and for movies it's next level. But here's the really important thing. If you're looking at this and you're thinking do I go down this route or the soundbar route, by the way we're going to be covering that in the next video in just a couple of days, um, there's something really important I have to say. Whichever one of these routes you choose and I will explain in the next video um, why I prefer the A9 way of doing things, you've got to get a sub because as much as it's clever and the pinpoint accuracy is startling and it's a very musical system, it, it, you can do music properly here. Um, okay, the very, very top level of audio files may insist that's not a thing, but for 99.9 .9 of us, this absolutely works for music beautifully. But you've got to get a sub in there if you really want the cinematic wow factor, that full rumble, which for me, that's, that's something you just got to have. I understand the argument and I, that why Sony has said, look, you can buy that separately. And I get that because you can even choose which sub you want. Um, but when we heard it all with Sony, it wasn't with the sub. Now, luckily, thanks to my friend Greg, um, massive shout out to you, sir. I actually got way more exposure to this exact setup in a real living room with the SW5 sub, 300 watt. That is, that's the one you want. That's the setup you want. If you go down this route because you want beautiful 7.14 surround sound with oomph to really enjoy music and movies without any of the hassle in terms of setting up any of that stuff, this is absolutely the way to go. Get it with the, um, SW5. Don't even think about running it without the sub. I, I would say if you had a very small room and you didn't have space for all four of these, sure, a soundbar could be the thing, but even if you take the soundbar route, get a sub in there if you can. I'd really consider it. Um, otherwise, it's never quite going to be the full beans experience that I think you're probably going to want. I know that's what I want when I go ahead and get something like this. Now, I haven't gone through all of the specs and that's for two reasons. Partly because they're in the video description below and if you want to check off you know, all the most important things for you, are they contained in this or not, you can do that. The other thing is, at the time of recording this, there's only one review I've managed to find that's been done outside of Sony. I always try and find the best reviews from other channels and link them in the description below. Now that one was from our friend Linus over at Linus Tech Tips or one of his uh, channels. I know he's got quite a few. Um, now that one is sponsored by Sony, so I wanted to just put that out there. They are paid by Sony, but he's obviously extremely trustworthy and it's a great um, proper first look at the tech and all of the connections and all the rest of it. But just so you know, things like high res audio, high res audio wireless actually, of course, that's really important, um, are there. EARC, HDMI in and out, all that kind of stuff 
the Google Assistant, also for Alexa, you know, voice control, um, Spotify connects in there as well. I mean, uh, Apple AirPlay, of course, AirPlay 2. Everything I think we all want to see in here is here. It ticks all the boxes. There were no obvious omissions as far as I can tell. Let me know what you think about this setup. And here's another really important thing. The only kind of question mark I have about this is will there occasionally be dropouts, losses in the connection and so on. Um, the only way we'll know that, I've only had a few days with this, so look, I, beyond that, I don't know. For me, it wasn't an issue, but I want to know if you do own this setup, tell us if you've got this, if you have any negative experiences with dropouts, because this is a proper community here, as you know, um, and we all like to see who's got this and who hasn't, what they're feeling about the product, you know, long term. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I'm Tom, Sony365. I'll see you next time.